Impala Impala are the most abundant animals and will most probably be your first sighting of game in the Kruger National Park. Called the Rooibok or Redbuck, in Afrikaans it is often mistaken to be a springbuck. They however have a higher stature and do not have the noticeable black strip on the side, which is commonly visible on the springbok. Their horns also differ from the springbok in that the latter's horns curve inward, while the impala's horns point upward in a curve to the rear. The underbelly is white, and from the rear the letter M is clearly visible on the rump. These dark markings are jokingly referred to as the McDonald sign of nature, as they are due to their abundance, one of the favorite targets for all carnivores. These gregarious animals move in herds numbering from a few to many hundreds of individuals. During the mating season, herd size will change as bulls isolate and defend females in estrus. Because they remain in herds, they benefit from others by collectively checking for danger from predators. Large herds also confuse predators, and only sick, old or lame individuals that cannot move at the pace of the herd, thus becoming prime targets during predator hunts. The first impala sensing danger is alerted, and immediately signals by snorting. This immediately alerts the rest of the herd. Instantaneously, one notices that all then stop grazing and look up to try and identify where the danger is coming from. They tend to look immediately in the direction of the first one who gave the snort. Once they notice the predator, they start moving away slowly. Sometimes individuals approach the predator to apparently get a better view. You may be lucky to see them on the run. This is exciting to watch as they sprint away by not running in a straight line, but dodging among the bushes, rocks and trees. This makes it more difficult for the predator to follow, as usually when a predator attacks, they go for the legs and rump. Notice how they constantly change their direction of flight, making it difficult for the predator. To add to confusion, the herd of impalas scatter in all directions. Herds on the run are a sight to see, as they can leap up to 3 meters high in the air and jump up to 12 meters across obstacles. This makes it difficult for the predator to keep track of the prey. The herds are managed by the bachelor, and juvenile and female impalas belong to the superior male. Breeding takes place in autumn, and at this time intense rivalry builds up between adult males with loads of snorts and grunts. They will resort to threatening displays, horn thrusting, and occasionally fatal duels with each other. When a lone male impala intrudes upon an existing herd, it is allowed to pass through the herd untouched, providing he does not interfere and keeps his head lowered and his ears back. The others will then leave him alone and let him pass through safely. Dogs also do this too often. If he shows any interest in the female, he is quickly driven off by the dominant male.